Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to a brand new journey. This is Pokemon Soul Silver. This is one of the best Pokemon games ever made and there's its mascot, Lukia. Lukia, Lugia, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so this is pretty much like any other Pokemon game, but this is like 10 times awesomer, so yeah. It's about 10 times off. Actually, it's about like 11.5 times awesomer than any other Pokemon game. Because you can walk with Pokemon, you get to visit more than one regions, you have a bunch of legendary Pokemon to catch, new rivals, everything. It's just so much new stuff. It's great. And who may I be? Well, I'm your host for this journey. I am Pokemon Trip HD. And uh, you can pick starters, and you gotta pick between three of the best starters ever made, so yeah. Another plus side to this. And yeah, so here is the startup screen. So uh, basically, someone I want to mention is Pokemon Journey HD. He's um, the guy that made me want to ever even start YouTube, so thank you so much. But anyways, this is gonna be the Pokemon Soul Silver Marathon. If you don't know what a marathon is, it's basically where I upload every single day until I am done with this series. So, every single day at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, well, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there's going to be a video up for you guys. So, check back every day at 1 o'clock. Or, whenever you have time, just check back. Because there's going to be a video every single day. So, let's get right into this. And um, I'm going to be your host. I'm going to be giving you guys a big description of every single Pokemon. So, yeah. Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, I need to make a voice for him. This is Professor Oak. What should his voice be? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we get any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is wildly inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And there's a cute little Meryl. It's so cute. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. You mean like everybody uses them to battle? Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Why don't you please tell me? Well, you know, last time I was a boy. Well, last time I checked I was a boy. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the boy. My name is obviously PT. So let's put PT in. There we go. PT. Your name is PT? Of course my name is PT. PT, are you ready? Your very own tale of adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences. Difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go into the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. And then we get shrunken down to the little animated guy. And there we are. We can finally move around. This is great. This guy is so cool, by the way. I like his little... Striped black and yellow hat. It's black and yellow, black and yellow. But anyways, let's get on with this. And uh, the length of these videos, guys, is probably going to be around like 10 to 15 minutes long. That's where I like these videos to be at, so yeah. Just putting that out there. Hi, PT, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her and Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go up? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here, you can save a record of your progress, breaking the fourth wall much. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buns and you'll know what to do in no time. That's... <laughs> I don't even know what wall she just broke right there. But anyways, you can finally look at all our stuff. Our things and stuff. So my ID is 15558. 15558. So one... Five 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 eight. That is just a really weird trainer card. Just wow! Like I always get the most awkward trainer cards, and I'm chewing gum. Deal with it. I love chewing gum. I'll probably be chewing gum a lot of the time when I'm recording because I just I like chewing gum when I talk better when I chew gum. I feel like actually I probably don't, but <laughs> but anyways, let's let's skip that. All right. Oh, it's a cute little Meryl. What's up, Meryl? Why are you trying to? Rate me, I don't even know what you're doing to me right now. You can't walk, stop trying to walk. Alright, and that is Lyra, I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure that's Lyra. 
Lyra and her cute little Meryl. It's so cute and ugly. So anyways, you could look around, but what you're going to want to do is head on to the left because... Because this lady over here is going to stop you. Wait, PT. What do you think you're doing? It's dangerous to go without a Pokemon. Wild Pokemon jump out of the grass on the way to the next town. So, yup, you can't do anything. Oh, what's this redhead guy doing? What's up, redhead dude? So this is the famous this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And he pushes up out of the way like a... I don't even know, like a bad word. But anyways, you're going to want to head into Professor Elm's lab and walk over here and then it auto makes you walk. So here's Professor Elm. Not Professor Oak, Professor Elm. Hi, PT, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are created in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He's finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose from one of the Pokemon over there. And, yep, that's it. <laughs> I didn't know he was done talking. But anyways, this is where you can choose what Pokemon you want. So let's go ahead and press A. Took two Pokeballs to see what is inside. Alright, you can actually just press A. So first up, we have Chikorita, the grass type. You can see its stats on the side, and you could tell if you like it or not. It might have its evolved form stats or something like that of that sort, but I think it's more of a... I don't think it's really that hard of a hitter, so it's not a hard hitter. So I don't recommend it if you're just going to be dealing out damage. I think this is more of a Pokemon that you need to take your time with to evolve it into its final form, which is Meganium. So yeah, if you want to get them though, go, like by all means, go ahead and pick them up. It's not a bad Pokemon at all. So next up we have Totodile, the water type Pokemon. And this Pokemon is more of an um, attacking type Pokemon, obviously. He could sort of take hits, but not really, but he sort of can. So if you want to pick up Totodile, go ahead, pick him up, he evolves into Feraligator at his final form, and he's a really hard physical attacker. He's not the fastest though, so be careful if you're looking for a fast type, or a fast type, fast Pokemon. And next up we have Cyndaquil, the fire type. Cyndaquil is more of a special attacker, and it's a fast special attacker, very, very fast. So yeah, if you're looking for a fast fire type, actually this is probably the first time you're going to be able to get a fire type until like around like three or four badges in. That's why I usually go with fire types. Well, actually only in two gems I go with fire types, but anyways. I really recommend Cynical. He's a great Pokemon. So uh, yeah, that's actually who we're going to be going with. Evolves into Typhlosion. I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, evolves into Typhlosion. PT received Cynical from Professor Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give a nickname to the Cynical you received? Of course we're going to nickname him. And it's a girl, of course. Of course. We're going to nickname him Smokey. So let's go Smokey. Smokey. There we go. Smokey, the nickname you want to give? Of course it is. We got to make that shit look official. Official. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. 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 If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. So he's here, just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, PT. And yeah, that's going to be it. So let's actually check our Cynical out. Let's check her out, because it's a girl. Timid Nature, that is minus attack plus speed. That is actually perfect. Wow, first try. Actually, not in the beginning. In the beginning of the game, that's not good, because we actually have a physical attacking move. But, um, whatever, it's okay. It is all good in the hood. Well, who's this guy? BT, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Obtain the potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PT put the potions in medicine pocket. 
We're gonna weaken the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Wise words right there. Wise words. Let's continue on. And here's Lyra and your stupid Meryl again. PT. So you pick a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You can turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. And she's gone. She's like deuces. Alright, so she said you can talk to your Pokemon. So let's go ahead and talk to Cyndaquil. What is he doing? Smokey is staring intently at the sky. Okay, you, you keep doing that. You keep doing that, Smokey. You keep doing that. Anyways, let's show the Smokey to our mother. I have no idea where our father is, but let's show it to our mother. Oh, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Al must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Al has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. When someone makes that kind of request to you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. PT received the Pokegear. Da -da 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 music time. The Pokemon Gear, or Pokegear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Pokegear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Of course I do. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Him or her. Did I say like her? Him or her. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yep, you know, how, how hard did you want it to be to make a phone call? Anyways, let's take a look at our Poke Gear really quick. So yep, you just press it. And then you go up here and you press A and you could call or sort or quit. And we're actually not going to call our mom because we were just talking to our mom. But you can go over here to the options and change your screen. And I actually, I like this screen. So I'm going to change it to this one. There we go. And uh, yep, that's all we can do for now. But you get more more apps and stuff on your little iPhone Poke Gear as time goes by. So let's actually leave this town. Psych, you can't leave yet. Wait one second. I'm waiting. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. That's a little pedo-ish, but whatever. We'll take down your number. I'll do it. I'll call you up if anything comes up. And he's gone. He is gone. Like the wind. Anyways, guys, this is where we're going to end off this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Marathon. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also add this to your favorites, please. It really helps out a lot. And I mean a lot. You don't know how much it helps out. And it makes me feel good inside. So, remember if you do all of these, you all get a special piece of bacon sent by me. Thank you.